I'm Chloe Sorvino. I wrote the book Raw Deal, Hidden Corruption, Corporate Greed, and the Fight for the Future of Meat, and I head up food and farming coverage at Forbes. I've been so excited to come to Roots, really for reinvigoration myself and just inspiration. I loved getting to meet Farmer Lee last year and just really understand the story of how he and Bob and the rest of the team have built this incredible farm, this incredible foundation. There are so many independent farmers out there that are super excited about making these changes and do see these benefits, but it, it, unfortunately because there's so few independent farmers left in this country, it, it, it's still you know in these kind of early stages of, of, of building momentum. The momentum is huge though and I think one of the other kind of main challenges is you know there's it's a lot to start up a farm. Late land prices are so expensive. To make these types of changes, you really often, I think, want to be an owner. I mean, it, it, renters, rent, tenant farmers just aren't exactly incentivized to make these types of long-term deep investments in the soil, although the, I wish they were and they should be. Um, that's just not honestly how these financial models work. I think it's really, really important to make sure that Equity is in the hands of people who care about the soil, like the Jones brothers. You know, it's not just in the hands of bankers who want to make the most returns for their shareholders. The system is often set up, I think, to make us think that, you know, our dollar is meaningless because in a way, you know, what's my dollar, what's your dollar when it's up against, you know, these billionaires, these big corporate banks and institutions that, um, uh, the scale is just so different. That said, I think we all as individuals have a huge ability to make change, not just with what we all are putting on our plates of ourselves and our families, but really uh, one of the things I, I most advise folks who are serious and excited about this work and wanting to get deeper in this work is to you know, run for a local school board or try to make change in a local hospital. Institutions like schools and hospitals provide such a huge potential for making real change because so much of the food that is sourced in those systems is, is through you know, kind of commodities, you know, really kind of mass systems. But if we can get more local purchasing and you know, more regenerative food into schools, into hospitals, through Medicaid, um, that would provide a lot of scale, like really quickly. You know, the Jones brothers are really special. It is rare that, you know, a, a, a story that starts with losing the family farm, you know, really does come back full circle. But I think that's really important because they were only able to make these really important changes for sustainability and for their their grandchildren and the future of this country. You know, they really only able to do that because of the control and, and, and the ability that they were able to repurchase their family farm. And, and so when I think about, you know, when folks get discouraged and think they can't go into farming or you know independent farmers have it tough i think we can look at this place as a case study and learn from lessons